Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and I'm back with part two of the spooky stuff review. So I'll be covering all of the objects we'll be getting with this pack first, and then I will switch over to a different household and throw the new spooky party. So yeah, let's start off with the objects here. There's quite a few, and then uh, I'm pretty sure for the first time ever in a stuff pack for The Sims 4, we got new wallpapers as well. So. I'll just start over here. So we have some new uh, chairs, of course, because what's a pack without chairs? <laughs> so we have uh, this uh, spooky chair over here, and uh, this couch over here. So these two have the same design, so I just had one without a ghoulish design on it, just to show that, uh, that yeah, you can have like just regular stuff if you want to. As regular as you can get with this sort of style anyways. So you can have like this spooky face on it, uh, or you, you can just have it plain if you want. And there's also an end table over here. Then there's the side table over here where uh, I have one of the new gameplay objects, which is a spooky candy bowl. It's a pretty entertaining little object I'll show a little bit later. And then we have uh, another table over here, and then we've got this uh, big uh, new teddy bear that the kids can play with. And then over here we have uh, we have this plant-shaped uh, light, which is really cool. It actually it actually does uh, work as a light, so it has all the options you'd expect. And then there's also this uh, light show thing here. So yeah, that's actually animated. It's kind of like that light that you get with uh, the digital uh, deluxe edition of the base game, except it's like different effects, so it's really cool. I don't know if they really changed to different ones or not. Hold on a second, I'm just going to quickly place uh, an alternate color version. Cauldron on Spirits Light Show. Oh yeah, so also while I'm in buy mode I should also... Uh, quickly read uh, one of the uh, funny object descriptions as per tradition with my stuff pack reviews. I'm pretty sure I know which one it was that I wanted to read. It was... Oh, I forget which one it was that I wanted to read. Uh... Oh, yeah, I can read this one. Alright, so this is one of the paintings where if you view it, it actually changes. Actually, you can already see uh, one of... The, I don't know if how many alternate versions there are that play through, but there's like the alternate version of this one. The Lord and the Lady. Despite all the power they wielded, Lord Lycan and Lady uh, Sanguina both eventually grew lonely. That is until the night they crossed paths, each discovering the other's dark secret. They have been inseparable ever since, even if they sometimes tend to lose their heads. <laughs> It's kind of interesting. It's almost like hinting at they at them being like different uh, supernatural creatures that do not exist in The Sims 4 yet, but hopefully uh, will eventually. Um, let's see. That was, I guess we can read another one. Oh yeah, this might have been the one I want to read. A misunderstood spider. Despite its lifelike quality, rest assured that this spider is purely robotic. Its advanced tracking systems are quite capable at accounting for multiple targets, but having been programmed in full compliance with the laws of robotics, you should feel thoroughly comfortable placing it in your walls in the bedroom, bathroom, or any other room where blood your sims enjoy gathering. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty funny description. I, I just love giving a shout out to uh, the people who are responsible for uh, writing the uh, object descriptions. Uh, yeah, let's also read the pumpkin carving station. This is the other new gameplay object included. Remember, carving isn't about what is there, it's about what's not there. Beauty is found in the negative space, and only through lack of meaning can true meaning be found. Look at it. Doesn't the hollowness point out the hollowness in your own life? Oh wait, it's a cat. Meow. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty great. This stuff pack overall is very charming. It definitely brings a smile to my face. Um, yeah, let's get back to the other objects and let's see if this one has like a different... Okay, no, it is the same. Alright, that's cool. But at least there are some different colors that you can have in the cauldron if you want. Um, let's 
go to these objects ne next. So this is just kind of like a decorative piece that you can place if you want to. They come in a few different colors and also you can just uh, you can place them on tables if you want to. They don't have to be placed on the floor. So yeah, that works pretty well. And let's see what we can focus on next. All right, so this is another really cool object. It's not really a gameplay object as such, but it does a cool thing where you can actually turn on and off the fog, and it also has like all the uh, typical options you would expect with a light. So yeah, that's that's pretty darn cool. One really interesting thing I've seen someone do with uh, this object is that they have like a basement going into the ground, and then at the uh, uh, at kind of like the head of this uh, not not the head of the stairs, but kind of like the head of like the opposite end of the stairs. You have like these tombstones placed there, so it looks like an actual grave that you're going into, which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's just show off some of the objects on the wall here. And yeah, this is one of the new wallpapers. This is my favorite one with the really cute ghost, and it comes in a variety of different colors. But as for the uh, objects here, there's uh, new curtains that are like shredded and stuff that go perfectly with the new uh, seating and table arrangements. Then there's uh, this painting right here. Then there's this one that I already uh, read out, so yeah, that one's changed back to its normal version. Oh, this one is <laughs> pretty crazy. I think that's like um, the alternate version of it. I, I'm not sure if they... Okay, you don't have to l use the view interaction for them to change. They just change automatically over time. So yeah, see, this one's gone back to normal. And yeah, now they've both literally lost their heads. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Supernatural uh, for The Sims 3, that expansion pack had paintings just like these ones. Then down here are these uh, little uh, lights that you can actually string together and they uh, put, they go together seamlessly, which is why I placed three. And then, uh, yeah, they come in two different designs, the skeleton one and the uh, jack-o'-lantern one. I really like the jack-o'-lantern one. Then, yeah, there's the robotic spider. Its eyes are actually glowing. <laughs> but no, we're not supposed to be scared of it because laws of robotics and such, yeah. <laughs> and then there's these uh, cobwebs that you can place. Uh, there's actually a left half and a right half. It's not one big object, so you can do what you want with it. And then there's uh, also uh, these hands that have uh, that are holding a candle, and they also come in different uh, colors and left and right variations, which is why I placed uh, two of them. All right, so let's go over to the pumpkins over here. These have nothing to do with the uh, pumpkin carving station. You can actually just place them from buy mode or build mode. And uh, these ones in particular over here, these are just a few of the different variations uh, uh, with the faces that you can place down. There's a variety of different moods. And then there's uh, this one with the witch hat. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Then you got these really cute uh, ghost lights over here. There's one like a uh, scared looking one and then there's like a really happy looking one. Then you have this big rug where uh, it comes in three different designs. So you have like the skull one that is kind of like the one from the necklace. There's uh, the, the jack, well, excuse me, a jack lantern one and a bat one. So that's pretty darn cool. Uh, I'll get to the style rooms in a minute here, but before that, I'll show you some of the wallpapers here. So uh, there's this cobweb one. There's this one with uh, bats. There's this one with kind of like these uh, spookier ghosts, I guess you could say. And then, yeah, there's the one with the cute ghost that I've already mentioned. And then there's kind of like this, uh, this slab wood one. There is one more I saw that was like part of like, um, I just saw from Sims Online's guide where it shows like what you get with the, the stuff pack. And there was like one more wallpaper design, but I can't find it for some reason. I don't know if that one was cut at the last minute, but unfortunately I couldn't find it anywhere. So unfortunately I couldn't include it with this review. And yeah, that's just the spooky <laughs> ghost one in the different color, in the purple color. And yeah, of course there's the pumpkin carving station right here. Let's take a closer look at it. I see some interesting details right now with the newspaper. It's like the... <laughs> There's the um, literal social bunny. Huh. How did they do that? There's no spooky, or spooky, uh, no social bunny in The Sims 4. I huh, is that a hint at something? I, I don't know. I don't know. 
But there's like another thing where Sam is caught like a fish or something, and then another Sam that's just randomly in there near the bottom. So yeah, it's like they're just using newspaper as a base, and then you got like a, all the props and stuff. I'll briefly uh, show um, the uh, gameplay objects in action before I switch over to the uh, party household. But uh, we, there's also the styled rooms over here. So you can uh, see what they look like, all these objects and wallpaper look like in a slightly more practical setting. And of course they do come in different colors. I'll just jump over to build mode again and show you like the prices and all that good stuff. Uh, styled rooms. Okay, let's filter by the spooky stuff. All right, so yep, two rooms, plentiful plush playroom. So it comes in three different colors, and I went with the purple one just because I like purple. <laughs> and uh, then there's this one, the unliving room, which matches the name of some of the uh, seating objects because they're both like they both have unliving in the name. Those are the room, those ones, so they cost a little bit more than uh, than the first one. Yeah, they're they're pretty nice uh, little setups here. I like how there's like the chair and then the carving station uh, close by to it, and then there's this one right here, which is pretty much just like a straight up living room with your fireplace and the and the uh, couches, and there's the um, there's the candy bowl in there and a different design and the scared pumpkin <laughs> and some of the supernatural paintings. Pretty cool. All right, so. I'll quickly uh, show off uh, the basics of the gameplay objects. I'll do it a little bit more too when we do the spooky party stuff, but let's do the grab a treat. <laughs> it does uh, different things. Uh, it's random each time. So you got like the ghost coming out that time, and let's. Uh, Take another one. There's also new moodlets introduced with these as well. So there's bowl of frights, trick or treat, why not both? Trick and treat! Adds happy plus one at least for right now. Awesome light show. Oh, that's from the, um, yeah, that's from the light show object over there. Being near these dancing lasers is making me smile inside. I'm not sure if that's exactly the same moodlet as the uh, other one from the base game, Digital Deluxe, but yeah, that's a thing there. So yeah, that time there was like little, uh, like poisonous looking smoke that came out of it. Uh, all right, let's do another one because I know there's at least one more. Uh, nope, that's the same one as before. Wow, I got the same thing three times in a row. <laughs> oh, that's just my luck. Oh, yeah, there's this uh, more spooky fog that comes out of it. There's also like a zombie hand that can come out of it. But my luck doesn't seem to be favoring me right now, so doesn't look like we'll see it just yet. But maybe we we'll, we will at the spooky party. But let's show up the carved pumpkin. So uh, the pumpkin carving is kind of interesting, where it ties into the handiness skill. So the more handiness you have, the more designs that you can make. Like you need um, you need handiness five to make this wicked one. Yeah. All right, so let's let's just start off with the good old classic one. And yeah, I really like how there's different colors as well. I did not expect that. Let's do a white classic pumpkin. All right. It does take a little while to carve them, but it's still kind of fun to watch. I mean, it's almost like what it was in the Sims 3 seasons, except you, you can't do it on the floor. You're just doing it. Uh, while, uh, uh, while on an object. I'm not really too sure what to think of that. Like, I kind of liked how you could just sit on the floor with the newspaper and carve the pumpkins. But I guess that could also lead to Sims carving pumpkins in really random places like the bathroom or something. <laughs> so maybe it is for the best that we have it attached to a table this time. I don't know. I, I guess opinions may differ with that. And uh, one thing that's kind of unfortunate is that uh, the, it doesn't seem like you can make pumpkin pie with these pumpkins, and the pumpkins are not harvestables. I guess there is still time to change that in the future. Like, maybe when we get an actual Seasons expansion pack, they could update the pumpkins and then make it so that they can be 
used for pumpkin pie and harvestables and maybe other things. Oh right, I almost forgot to mention, ghosts can actually wear the pumpkins on their heads. Which is, that's kind of an interesting little gameplay feature that they added to an existing occult creature. So hopefully they can also add like a flying UFO vehicle to aliens once we get cars back. <laughs> Is, yeah, like another example of when they've gone back and added stuff later on was with the vampires in The Sims 3 where we first got them in Late Night and they were cool and all, but then we also got them in Supernatural and they added like a few more interactions to the vampires. So yeah, there's always the possibility that pumpkins can be updated later on. This may not be like the like end all, end all be all of pumpkins in The Sims 4 through spooky stuff. So there we go, we got the pumpkin, and then you can just drag it off the table. You can put it in the inventory if you want to. You can uh, also light them, and you can smash them. So yeah, again, it's just like in The Sims 3. But if you're not careful, your sim can catch on fire, but thankfully that didn't seem to happen. Oh wow, that's like smoke coming out of it, because <laughs> it's spoiled now. Traditional Draco Lantern, okay. You can just throw that away. And... Um... Maybe I'll show one more real quick. Let's do the cat one because cats are awesome. Let's do pale orange. And then yeah, after that I guess we can uh, stop for a minute while I uh, switch over to the household that I'm going to use for the spooky party. Because yeah, this is in my Let's Play save, but it's a copy of it. So none of what's happening in this video is canon or anything. It's not going to fall into any sort of uh, continuity. Let's just fast forward this a little bit. Oh, she reached level 2 of the handiness skill. I don't know if she's gotten any more designs available just from getting to level 2. But I don't know. All I know is that handiness level 5, you get that wicked one. Let's put it down here. Yeah, I like this. This is really cute. <laughs> um, does she get any new ones? Oh, she does. She got the smiling one. She gets the ghost one. But yeah, I'll show a few more of these uh, designs when I show off uh, the other household. Oh, wow. There's like some noises and stuff. I'm not sure if that's coming from the tombstones or what. Hmm, I don't know. But uh, yeah, overall the objects are really good with spooky stuff. They're very charming and there's just so much genuine effort put into this uh, stuff pack where you have like the smoke coming out of the tombstones when they could have just made them decorative and just stopped there, but they went that extra mile with that. The light show is really cool. It's nice that we have a different light show that's like uh, not the same as the one from the digital deluxe space game. Uh, the spooky treat is really nice. You got some new candies. Oh yeah, there are some new recipes as well. I'm not sure if that's just like all attached to this bowl or if they actually are new genuine recipes. I'm going to have to check on that before I record the next segment of this video. But uh, yeah, overall the objects are really nice and I like them a lot. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys again in just a little bit. All right, I'm back. So this is the lot that I'm using uh, for this part of the video. It's called Happy Halloween by Forever Young 159. And it's on a 30 by 20 lots and it fit perfectly uh, into one of the empty lots I had in Willow Creek, one of the very few that I had. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to also have this uh, lot in your game for yourself. Just keep in mind it does re require a couple of other packs like Outdoor Treat and Cool Kitchen. But if you just search the hashtag spooky stuff in the gallery, you'll find uh, plenty of uh, spooky lots that may be to your liking. Alright, so let's get into this. So, yeah, this house is pretty nice. It uh, has like all the decorations at the front. It has a spooky looking kitchen that uses a lot of purple. And then you also have like this little area over here where you can dance. And then there's the bathroom. And then there's also this area back here where you can carve some pumpkins. Alright, I'm um, thinking who knows the most sims? Probably David. So let's, uh, let's get the phone here. Wait. There it is, plan a social event. 
I hardly ever throw parties in this game, so yeah. <laughs> Forgot where it was for a second. David actually goes very well with the color scheme of that room. <laughs> um, Alright. Black and white bash, be cognito. Oh, spooky party, right at the bottom here. Okay, so be the proprietor of your own spooky party where costumes are de rigueur in a setting rife with frightful decor. Prepare ghoulish gastronomy, gast gastronomy to satisfy guests' cravings while they preoccupy themselves with pumpkin carving. Uh, those too terrified to help themselves to the spooky candy bowl can always ask another party goer for a treat. Just don't get tricked. Gold level reward unlocks the Super Llama costume. So that's an interesting twist. They even went to the effort of including a new reward with the new party type. And the Super Llama costume, I'd, I'd say, is probably the best costume in this pack. So it's kind of a shame that you have to unlock it, but... Uh, I do have a mod, though, that does unlock it for everybody by default. I don't remember the creator's name, but I'll try to uh, leave a link in the video description below uh, to the uh, page that I downloaded from, so you can enjoy it real quick if you want to. So even if I fail to get a gold medal, I'll still be able to show you guys what the llama costume uh, looks like at the end. Alright, so let's get this all started. Host, uh, we'll make David host this. Uh, guest, two required. Um, oh, okay, we can have... This is the house will be the guest. Uh, let's have Benny over, let's have Carly over. Uh, Kaiden, because he loves to appear in like pretty much every Let's Play video that I do. Malkin La or Lamgrab, did he change your look? Oh, because he's just in this formal outfit. Let's get invite him. Let's have Lucy over. Uh, mm, and Nina Caliante, why not? Okay. That's probably more guests than necessary, really, but whatever. <laughs> Caterer. Um... Ooh, let's have Bridgie. <laughs> her be the caterer. And then for the mixologist, um, let's have uh, Iker. It's the mixologist. Oh wait, we don't even have a bar, do we? Oh, wait, I don't think we even need one. Um, no, zero required. Or is it too late? Uh, darn it. Wait, I can just, like, click on it, cancel it, then, okay. But yeah, you can just still have a caterer anyways, I guess. Alright, oddballs, residents. Okay. Yeah, I actually forgot to check real quick if any recipes are in there. See, David has five cooking skills, so let's just take a very quick look here. Oh, he changed it to a costume already, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Oh, it looks like Darth Sidious almost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, okay, there are stuff. There's uh, spooky cookies. I wish we could filter these ingredients by expansion pack or game pack or stuff pack. Hint, hint. Sim Gurus, if any of you are watching this, that'd be really handy, especially when we get more packs in the future. It'll be harder to find the stuff that come with different things. Um, so there's spooky cookies. There's zombie cake. Yeah, that's right, there's three new recipes. So there's one more. Um, oh, I don't know what the other one is. I don't know if we don't have enough cooking skill for it. Shoot, I, I don't know what the last one is. Yeah, it doesn't look like that we can make it. Um, let's make some zombie cake. And if we have time, we'll make the spooky cookies as well. But if Bridgie shows up, she'll probably make them. All right, so David's in, yeah, it's like the Grim Reaper costume that, and that reminds me of Darth Sidious. And then uh, it looks like Talbot changed into the llama costume from the athletic career that came with the, the December patch. And then, uh, <laughs> nice, Sebastian has some good taste. It changed into the Boba Fett costume that came with another previous update. And um, uh, Ladford changed into the astronaut costume. And if you don't like what they changed into, you can change it. You can, uh, while you're in spooky party mode, you can go to change party costume and you can change into whatever you want. So 
Uh, yeah, I could have it like change it to Darth Vader if I wanted to. Yeah, awesomeness. Then um, I'll just bring it up one more time so you can see what all the different options are once the uh, once the lag lets up. <laughs> change party costume, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Darth Maul. Yeah, you could even have your own like Star Wars theme part if you if you wanted to. I don't know if you can make the guests change into different costumes, so you can make your household do that. So, yeah, lots and lots of different choices. Um, okay, so it looks like some guests have already showed up. There's Benny. He's not really in a costume; he's just in his everyday wear. Okay. Oh, yes, and uh, there's also these uh, trick and treat interactions, but those actually came with um, a recent update. And they're going to be uh, gone after a limited time, so yeah. Um, no, it doesn't look like you can make them change into a costume. You can complement their costume. Um, oh, maybe it is a costume that Benny's wearing, but I'm not sure which one that would be. Let's do the treat interaction. Yeah, the treat interaction where you can act is where you can actually give a treat. Oh, cool! Somebody is Darth Maul. <laughs> one of my favorite Sith Lords. Oh yes, Kaiden. You, you did you did good, mate. You did good! I don't know why I said mate, but there you go. I guess that's part of the Australian sec segment of my life. Bleeding into my everyday language still. Um, yeah, can, there's the treat interaction. And then the trick is basically recycled from one of the mischief interactions where you can just scare them. <laughs> yup. Alright. Yeah, everybody's in a costume. I'm not sure what one Benny's is, but everybody else is in a costume. That's definitely like very Halloween-like. So it's really cool that they went into the effort of um, making all the... Um, even the ones in previous updates like adapt themselves to the spooky party. So Bridgie's here. She's making some kind of food. I think she's just making regular food. So maybe to just have um, David make something. Oh, maybe the other thing was in the... Gourmet meal? Mm, no, I guess not. That's really strange. I'm not sure what the last one is, but maybe you need a lot more skills for it. Uh, let's see. Let's square the cookies. There they are. Cookie cookies. Yeah, the zombie cake is really, it's really cute. It's very scary. It's good quality, so that's good. Oh yeah, and there's also new um, there's new music added to the spooky genre on the radio station. I don't know what specifically which, uh, which songs are new and which ones aren't, but yeah, the spooky radio station's been around for quite a long time. I think since the Ghosts update, but they did add a few more for the spooky stuff. So yeah, there's just like so much content with this stuff pack. It's it's pretty amazing. So let's, uh, you know what, I've been ignoring the goals here. Uh, let's carve some pumpkins. Let's see, who's free? Um, anybody, I guess everybody's doing something. Uh, let's have our little Boba Fett over here. Whoops, <laughs> I accidentally hit the M key, but I can't do that during a social event, so that's good. Oh, hey, look, it's Lucy, and she's in a cheerleader outfit. So she's already making something. I'm not sure which design. Let's have, uh, let's have Sebastian go over here. All right. Yeah, the Star Wars costumes are pretty awesome. I know a lot of people don't like them, especially since they were kind of forced on us in a free update, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I'm looking forward to The Force Awakens and Star Wars Rebels Season 2. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not... I'm, it's, it's not really a complaint for me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, she carved a pumpkin, so that counts towards the goal. As you can see here, there's carved pumpkins, asked for party treats, and perform mischief socials. All right, so let's drag that one over here. Let's light that one up. Um, let's do one we didn't show yet. Let's do ghost. Uh, let's do an orange one. What one is this one? I think it's... Oh, it's just, it's the scared pumpkin, all right. I'm not sure how close Ladford is to... Mm. Oh, what? He's only at Henius level 2. I thought he was level 4. Oh, well. I guess you guys can discover that uh, wicked one for yourselves. Carly's in... I don't know what costume that is. 
but she did show up. I guess some Sims just took a bit longer to show up than others. Uh, all right, I'll let him uh, carve it for a little bit. Let's see if we can try and get this gold medal here. Uh, perform mischief socials. Let's play a prank on Darth Vader. Uh, mischief. Uh, lie about a career. Be like, ha, ah, I'm an athlete, even though I'm not. I'm a scientist. But you knew that already, but still, I'm going to try and trick you. And David, did you, you made the cookies, all right. Let's take a close look at these. Ah, oh, I like these too. This is such a cute stuff pack. <laughs> the jack-o'-lanterns and the bats and the ghosts. It's really nice. Definitely want to make some of those cookies, maybe sell them in the business I have in one of my other households. It has a bakery. And Bridgie's just in her regular uh, caterer outfit, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that has anything to do with the party type. Unless she changes into one later, but I doubt it. No, David, this is no time to sleep. Uh, David, you can... Uh, you can do a mischief thing. Let's do... Trick with hand buzzer, that seems more of his thing. Oh, now he's <laughs> now he's gonna be in his pajamas. All right, let's change into a uh, pizza delivery man. Oh, that's probably the one Benny is. That's probably Benny's. No, it's not. Okay, then I'm still not sure. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's really nice that you can even dress up as the NPCs if you want to. At least the very few that exist in the game. Um, Alright, so you gotta ask for some party treats. Um, oh, you can request the carved pumpkin too, that's kinda cool. Um, let's see, is it just under friendly? Or, okay, ask for a party treat. So this can backfire on you, it, it might end up being that the sim will trick you instead. So it's pretty much like a trick-or-treat interaction. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, okay, for some reason he wants to chat with Talbot. Okay, let's cue this up again. Uh, la, 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 la. Invite the fake party. We're at a party right now. Um, oh, wait, that's not what we wanted to do. Um, choices. Where is it? Oh, maybe it was, like, at the beginning. Um, ask for party treat. There it is. Ah, oh, why is it canceling out? Oh, great. Now it's in the buried under the friendly again. Nice. Well, third time's the charm, right? Unless he gets tricked. Yeah, he got tricked. <laughs> okay, let's let's ask Bridgie. Let's see if we can... Nah, we still have to introduce ourselves. Let's just skip that whole thing. Let's... Ask for one from Kaiden, maybe. Uh, no, it's not in there. Ask for party treat. Oh, nice. Are we already? Oh, we're at silver. Okay, that's good. Whoa, Lucy, you're you're just standing right in the middle of Kaiden. <laughs> wow. All right. Is that hopefully it's not no I don't think that's gonna cause ratting failure but it's still taking a while for them to initiate the interaction oh no it did cause ratting failure well okay let's just ask one from Lucy then uh pretty treat I wonder if the traits factor into how likely it is to get tricked because I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past Lucy to trick us since she's one of the antagonists of my sim universe Oh no! She actually decided to be nice and give us a treat. All right. Um, okay, view carved pumpkins. So let's take a look at this ghost one. Let's light it up. Ooh, I like it a lot. Uh, let's put that down here. I know there was like an owl one that I really liked, so I want to show you guys that one. Let's do... I guess we can just do the green one since I haven't done a green one yet. But there's the ghost one. I really like that one a lot too. Let's have 
uh, having David do everything, let's, uh, <laughs> feeling very playful, Ladford is feeling playful. Oh, you can extinguish them. Uh, let's just view it before the time is up. Okay. Oh, he's gonna sit down and look at it. Yeah, Nina looks good in that smuggler's outfit costume. I like that. Uh, okay, is he gonna... Oh, there we go. Alright, looks like we got the gold medal. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I was just thinking like, oh, well, I don't throw parties very often, so I might not get the gold medal, but I think this one's easier than the other party types. <laughs> but that's just fine with me. Alright. Hey, I think I will pretty much just just show off the costume and I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap this whole video up. I, I don't have a female in this household, but it, it looks pretty much the same, I think. Or you know what? Let's just um, do testing. There might be different colors with the female one. Testing cheats true. Oh, wait. Testing cheats true. Cast dot full edit mode, and let's just do modifying cast. And yeah, you'll get to see David as a girl. <laughs> that should be pretty funny. All right, so let's let's see if we can find the costume. Hopefully, if we've Filtered by spooky stuff, we can, uh, oops, easily find it. Uh, packs. Spooky stuff. Oh, I, oh, this is from Get to Work. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Where is it? Um, okay. It's not. Here. I mean, the mod should have. Oh, wait, there it is. Well, that's weird. I don't know why it doesn't have the icon for spooky stuff, but. Alright, and then let's put the. Um, I think it's a hat on him. There it is. <laughs> uh, let's make this match. Yeah, there we go. And I guess the no, the purple one matches more. But yeah, this is really awesome. It makes your sim look really buff and ripped. Yeah, this is really cool looking. I love it. It's definitely inspired by Batman with the whole uh, with the belt and the and the logo on the front. So let's look at it in uh, different colors here. Oh, there's a good number of them. There's a black one. That's definitely very Batman-esque. Oh, the green one reminds me of Green Lantern. <laughs> and there's this red and black one. This uh, white and black and red one. And there's this uh, yellow and red one that reminds me of McDonald's. <laughs> Loving it. Um, okay. And I'm pretty sure the hats have the exact same colors. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I bet the green one was totally inspired by the Green Lantern. <laughs> All right, let's make David a girl. <laughs> there we go. If you ever wondered what David Fox would look like as a girl, there you go. Um, all right, let's see if we can find the llama, super llama for the girls. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was just missing it every time. Uh, yeah, let's put the hat on before I go through the different colors. I guess the colors are the same. I just didn't really need to make David a girl temporarily, but whatever. This ain't canon! It's not actually gonna stick. Yeah, there you go. There's the female version. Yeah, the female version, instead of it being like super ripped, it's like very skin tight, so that's another, uh, another difference. So yeah, there's the black one, the blue one, the Green Lantern one, the red one, and all the other ones that are... Yeah, it's all the same colors. All right. 
But uh, there you go. That's uh, pretty much it. I think I'll yeah I'll just stick with it for a second just so you can see what it looks like in live mode. But overall, that's it for this review. So I'll give my uh, overall thoughts on this uh, stuff pack. If it wasn't already clear, I I really like this stuff pack a lot. And even like from a purely objective standpoint, it is worth your money because it's about the same size as the Sims 2 stuff pack. It has about 70 items in total, which is a lot because all the other ones for Sims 4 so far, I think are 40 to 50. I don't remember exactly, but it's quite a bit less than spooky stuff. So spooky stuff is almost like a stuff pack and a half, especially considering that there's two gameplay items, both uh, that are actually like completely different because like luxury party stuff did have two gameplay items, but they are basically made to work together. So you can almost consider it to be one object. But with spooky stuff, they're actually two very separate objects. A spooky candy bowl that plays pranks on you, and then the uh, carving station, which has a lot of different designs and a lot of different color options to choose from. It, it's so well done. Like, the pumpkin carving is definitely my favorite of the two uh, gameplay objects. It's, yeah, it's just about as good as, uh, as it was in Sims 3 Seasons, if not better. But I do hope the pumpkins will get updated uh, later to have more functions like I mentioned earlier in the video like um, uh, pumpkin pie making them actual harvestables the recipes are really cool I'm sorry I wasn't able to show off whatever the third one was I don't remember it what's this one? Oh, that that's what it is <laughs> the cheesy eyeballs alright well you got to see them after all so <laughs> I'm really glad uh, but yeah wait where is uh, David oh female David is not in the everyday outfit hold on let's just change it to it yeah like the only the only reason I would still recommend perfect patio stuff over all the other stuff back is just because it's a little bit more universal because the hot tubs yeah you can easily use those year-round whereas with um, spooky stuff it only makes sense during the fall which we don't really have yet like the reason why it looks like it's fall in my game right now is because I have the autumn mod which I've shown off in some of my previous uh, videos I will uh, yeah I'll see if I can uh, yeah I'll include a card to the uh, the showcase I did for this mod quite a while back so you can get a better idea of what the autumn mod is like but I guess with the autumn mod, I will be using this stuff pack more than I would have if I weren't using any mods at all. But that is something to consider. But hopefully when we get a Seasons expansion pack, well, excuse me, then we'll get the actual spooky day holiday back. And then, um, yeah, then this stuff pack can truly reach its full potential. But otherwise, like, this is a really good stuff pack. In my opinion, it is very, very close behind Perfect Patio stuff. But overall, it's like content-wise the best one. So yeah, if you like the theme, if you like the Halloween theme, if you like Halloween, and if you don't want to wait until we get a Seasons expansion bag, then don't hesitate. Buy this stuff back right now. It's so good. You will get your money's worth. I, I guarantee it. Because this one is so well done compared to the other stuff packs. I'm just hoping that all the stuff packs after this one will have around the same amount of effort. Because that'd be kind of a shame if all the efforts they put into a stuff pack that it had to be this one that not everybody will love so yeah but I think that's pretty much all I have to say so uh, be sure to leave a like or comment or even subscribe whatever you feel like doing because it lets me know that you like my channel and my videos and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content for me uh, including uh, my let's plays my showcases and uh, other fun stuff like doing on my channel, such as uh, Sonic the Hedgehog games and indie games as well. So I'll talk to you later, guys, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Man, this, this party sure is spooky. Look at Darth Maul busting a move. And I probably just pissed off the whole Star Wars fan base by showing that. <laughs> oh! Smashing Bash, a festive frights, guests left gibbering in joy after an evening of mischief and delight. The household has been rewarded with a super long costume is perfect for the next party, or perhaps we're just wary around the house. Yay! We succeeded! Alright.